All right, here's some more examples on how to solve equations containing radicals. And by now, hopefully, we have the technique down. I look at my first example. I see two radicals. I see that one is on one side of the equation, the other one is the other side of the equation. So I think I'm good to go. The next step is to go ahead and square both sides of the equation. So I'm going to square the square root of 5x plus 1 underneath the radical minus 1. And set that equal to the square of the right side, which is the square root of 3x quantity squared. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So squaring the left side, we get 5x plus 1, because this squared gives me 5x plus 1, times twice the product of the 2. The product of the 2 would be minus this radical, times 2 would be minus 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1, plus the square of the last term, which is plus a positive 1, equals, and the square root is undone by the square, so we get 3x on the right side of the equation. So by squaring both sides of the equation, we now have something that had two radicals before down to something that only has one radical. So I'm going to keep the minus 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1 on the left side of the equation, move everything else over to the right side of the equation to isolate that. So we end up with minus 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1 equals, we already have a 3x, then let's move the 5x across, it becomes a minus 5x. Let's move the plus 1 across, it becomes a minus 1. And the plus 1 across, that becomes a minus 1. All right, combining like terms, minus 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1 equals, that's a minus 2x minus 2. Now, since every term has a negative in front of it, I think I'll multiply both sides of the equation by a negative 1. And then I get 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1 equals, that would be uh, positive 2x plus 2. Now I'm ready to multiply both sides of the equation to get rid of this radical. So I'm going to not multiply, but square both sides of the equation. All right, when I do that, I get a 4 times 5x plus 1 is equal to, that will be a 4x squared plus twice the product of these two, that would be 8x plus the last term squared, that would be plus 4. Now I can see that I'll end up with a quadratic equation. Before I work this out, I'm going to get rid of the parentheses. That gives me a 20x plus 4 equals 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. Now moving everything over to one side of the equation, I'll get 0 equals 4x squared plus 8x plus 4. And I see I'll get a minus 20x and a minus 4. And of course, the plus 4 and minus 4 cancel out. And so then I end up with 0 equals 4x squared um, minus 12x. Now, it also looks like I can divide both sides by 4. If I do that, I'll end up with 0 equals x squared minus 3x. And finally, I can factor out an x. And so I'll end up with 0 equals x times x minus 3. And of course, that can only be true if either x is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0, which means, hmm, I'm actually out of room here. Let me go over here, which means that either x equals 0 or x equals 3. Those are the two possible solutions. Now, just to make sure that uh, those are two valid solutions, I need to plug those back into the original equation, make sure that they're correct. So I'm going to do a quick check. Plugging in x equals 0 in here, that means I'll end up with the square root of 5 times 0 plus 1 is equal to, oh, not equal to, I have a minus 1 here, is equal to the square root of 3 times 0. So that's 0 plus 1, that's the square root of 1, minus 1 equals 0. And that's 1 minus 1 equals 0. And sure enough, that checks out. So that's a valid solution. Plug it in the next possible answer. I have the square root of 5 times 3 plus 1 minus 1 equals the square root of 3 times 5. And notice that's 15 plus 1, which is 16. So I get the square root of 16 minus 1 should equal the square root of 15. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Let's see here. So 15 plus 1 is the square root of 16. 
the square root of 16 is 4, and 4 minus 1 is 3, and the square root of 15, that um, doesn't seem to work. Ah, because I made a mistake. This should have been 3 times 3. And now things seem to work out a little bit better. There we go. So we have 4 minus 1, which is 3, equals the square root of 3 times 3, which is 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So that checks out as well. So both answers are valid. And I found the, the two answers, the, two, the solution to this particular equation. All right. One more exam test of time. I've separated this one from the previous example because I was running out of board space. And so let's go ahead and solve this problem. Uh, the technique is to move one of the radicals over to, to the other side so you can square both sides and begin to eliminate the radical. So we have the square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to 1 plus the square root of x minus 4. Whenever you cross the equal sign, the sign changes. So now you're ready to go ahead and square both sides. So square the left side, square the right side. So the left side becomes 2x minus 1. And the right side, since we have to square a binomial, it's the first term squared, which is 1, plus twice the product of the 2, which is 2 times the square root of x minus 4, plus the square of the last term, which is x minus 4. And now you've reduced this problem to an equation with just one radical. So you want to put that radical on one side, move everything else over to the other side. So we have a 2x minus 1 already here. We move the 1 across, it becomes a minus 1. We move the x across, it becomes a minus x. And we move the minus 4 across, it becomes a plus 4, equals uh, 2 times the square root of x minus 4. Quickly, combining like terms, 2x minus x is x. A minus 2 plus 4 is a plus 2, and that equals 2 times the square root of x minus 4. Okay, now we can go ahead and square both sides again. Square the left side, square the right side. Remember, whatever you do one side, of course, you do to the other side as well. So this becomes x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 4 times x minus 4. Then multiplying this out to get rid of the parentheses, we end up with x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 4x minus 16. Notice we have a 4x on one side, a 4x on the other side, so that cancels out. And moving the 16 across, we have x squared plus 4 plus 16 equals 0, or x squared uh, plus 20 equals 0. And then of course, trying to solve this for x, I can move the 20 to the other side. I have x squared equals minus 20. And here we have a problem. How can a number squared equals a negative number? That is not possible. So therefore, we can say no solution. And so in this particular problem, we don't have a proper solution and nothing to check. So again, the same technique is followed. Separate the radicals, square both sides, then you end up with a single radical, separate the radical from everything else, square both sides, and in this case, no solution to be found. But at least that shows you how to solve equations that contain radicals. And you should be okay at this point in trying some of these. And again, if you have trouble, go back to the videos and check it out again. Good luck with these.